Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Interview with the deputy of the Republic of Western Armenia, Guillermo Karamanyan. Deployment of Russian peacekeepers in Artsakh. Pashinyan and Macron discuss situation in Artsakh. Russian and French foreign ministers had discussion on Artsakh issue. November 22 as the day of remembrance of the Artsakh war victims. The Mother See of Holy H. Medzin condemns the vandalism of the church in Shushi by Azerbaijan. The 2,900-year-old fortress of Ararat Kingdom will become a tourist attraction. In an interview with Western Armenia TV, member of Parliament of the Republic of Western Armenia, Guillermo Karamanyan, spoke about the work he has done during the Artsakh War, clarified the possible options for assisting Artsakh in connection with the return of refugees. He mentioned the steps initiated by the Argentine Parliament and the government. We present to your attention the territories of Artsakh where Russian peacekeepers settled. This map was published on November 14. According to the map, the Russian forces are quite unevenly distributed along the Artsakh border. Painted in green near the Armenian border, there are almost no Russian bases. This gives us reason to think that this area will most likely remain under the control of Armenian side. It is too early to make a concrete conclusion as there may be unpredictable developments. It should be noted that November 25 is the deadline announced by Russia. Prime Minister of Armenia Nicole Pashinyan had a telephone conversation with President of France Emmanuel Macron. As informed by the Office of the Prime Minister, the situation in Artsakh was discussed during the conversation. Both sides stressed the need to resume the work of the OSC Minsk Group co-chairs in full format. They referred to the issue of ensuring safe repatriation for tens of thousands of people who have fled their homes in recent weeks and preserving their religious, historical and cultural heritage of Artsakh. The need to maintain peace and diffuse the situation in the region was emphasized on both sides. In this regard, the Prime Minister of Armenia noted the fundamental importance of international recognition of the Artsakh Republic. Russian and French Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov and Jean-Yves Le Drain discussed the situation in Artsakh. The press service of the Russian Ministry of Foreign Affairs reports Lavrov and Jean-Yves Le Drain discussed the situation over the settlement of Nagorno-Karabakh conflict, the mediation efforts made by Russia for the full cessation of hostilities in the conflict zone. The ministers emphasized the importance of ensuring the implementation of November 9 through a later declaration signed by the leaders of Russia, Azerbaijan and Armenia. The Russian and French Foreign Minister Ministers exchange views on further steps towards long-term settlement of Nagorno-Karabakh crisis based on the principles agreed within the framework of the OSC Minsk Group and based on the equal interest of the Azerbaijani and Armenian people. With the call of His Holiness Catholicus of all Armenians Garagin the second and Armenian's president Armen Sarkisyan, November 22 will be declared Remembrance Day of the heroes killed during the Artsakh war defending their homeland. A memorial service will be held on that day in all Armenian churches. In the Holy See of St. Echmet, in the commemoration ceremony will be held by Catholicus of all Armenians following the Holy Liturgy at 1.30 p.m. The Mother See of Holy H. Miazin strongly condemns the vandalism of the St. Hovhannes Makartish Church in Shushi by Azerbaijan. Such an attitude towards the spiritual and cultural values is a continuation of Azerbaijan's activities towards Armenian culture for decades. We strongly condemn the vandalism of Shushi St. Hovhannes Makartish Church. Actions of Azerbaijan show the decade-long policy of this country of erasing all traces of Armenian historical presence in the historical land of Armenians. We call on the international community and relevant organizations to condemn such unacceptable actions of Azerbaijan and to take urgent active steps towards the prevention of such actions of vandalism, the statement reads. The 2,900-year-old Atantepe Fortress is one of the most important sites in the Ararat Kingdom, located on the historic Silk Road in the Yerzanka province of Western Armenia, will be turned into an archaeological park and tourist site after excavations are completed. The castle is located on a hill about 60 meters high. Earthquakes in the region have destroyed brick structures. After excavations in this castle built in the period of Ararat Kingdom, hundreds of historical items were discovered. Dear followers, we would like to remind you that the Year One Office of the Republic of Western Armenia organized a conference entitled President Woodrow Wilson's Arbitral Award 100 Years Later and Western Armenia, which will take place tomorrow, November 21, at 12 p.m. Now let us represent your attention a song by Vahram Tadevosyan. <laughs> Yeah. 
You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.